not caring if we're healthy or ill, hungry or drunk, Russian, American, or beings from Mars. Like a fire. It could either destroy us or it could keep us warm. That's why every FedEx office has a clock. Because we live or we die by the clock. We never turn our back on it. And we never, ever allow ourselves the sin of losing track of time. Locally, it's 1.56. That means we've got three hours and four minutes before the end of today's package sort. That's how long we have. That's how much time we have before this pulsating, accursed, relentless taskmaster tries to put us out of business. Hey, Nikolai, hey, Nikolai, good to see you. How are you, kid? Look what you did. You just delivered your very first FedEx package. That deserves something special, like a Snickers bar and a CD player. And something to listen to, a CD. There, Elvis Presley. 50 million fans can't be wrong. You all recognize this, don't you? I took the liberty of sending this to myself. I fed exit before I left Memphis. You're probably wondering what could be What could it possibly be? Is it architectural plans? Maybe technical drawings? Is this a new wallpaper for the, for the bathroom? It is a clock, which I started at absolute zero and is now at 87 hours, 22 minutes, and 17 seconds. From Memphis, America, to Nikolai in Russia, 87 hours. 87 hours is a shameful outrage. This is just an egg timer. What if it had been something else, like your paycheck, or fresh boysenberries, or adoption papers? 87 hours is an eternity. The cosmos was created in less time. Wars have been fought, and nations toppled in 87 hours. Fortunes made and squandered. What?